All right, thank you. Our next question is going to come from Kenny Graves from WATP Radio. I heard in your um, opening statements and the, uh, your answers uh, something about uh, teamwork and uh, working as a team. Uh, my question is, uh, how much discretion will you give to your assistant uh, DAs to handle the cases assigned to them? And uh, Mr. Green, we'll start with you. I believe that when you instill, uh, when you when you display a positive uh, leadership model, and you put trust and faith in people, uh, they can rise to the level uh, with the proper experience. Uh, they can rise to the level to reflect that experience and leadership opportunity that they're given. What I mean by that is, uh, with proper training and a proper support mechanism in place, I think the right assistant district attorneys, and many of uh, those are in place in Ms. Nichols' office now. Uh, she's got a lot of good folks working for her. Uh, with, with given a proper support model, I think they can be more effective and more efficient. And I think they, uh, with more leverage and ability to dis make decisions, that's one of the things I hope to utilize in order to improve efficiency. I also hope to recruit and bring in the best and the brightest. Uh, that type teamwork, I think, an atmosphere of teamwork within the office that shows the employees you believe in them, they're there for a reason, their job is important, it's important to the community, and they then, when they're given the opportunity to have some decision-making authority, I believe will make the right decisions. Does that, does that appropriately answer your question? Thank you, Mr. Green. Ms. Dixon? I hate to say this, but it again goes back to what I said about recruiting, training, and retaining experienced, committed prosecutors. Prosecutors like law enforcement are kind of a unique breed. They don't do it for the money, that's for sure. Uh, we do this job, but those of us that have done it, uh, Ms. Newcomb, as she said, has done this for a long time, and, and she has sacrificed, made the sacrifices to be a prosecutor all these years. It's not for the money. It's because you believe in the nobility of the profession. And the... Uh, nobility of working beside law enforcement to protect victims and the citizens. That said, the first thing is to fill the office with those people. Mr. Green has an excellent point. There's a lot of them there already. We've got to get them the training that they need. We also have to uh, give them the respect that professionals deserve, allow them to do their jobs, trust them to do their jobs, and obviously, uh, create a supervisory system that is, uh, makes each person in that office invested, gives them ownership. One difference I will do in the district attorney's office is I will not have one chief assistant. I will follow the model of larger state agencies. I will have uh, division chiefs. I will disperse the power of the office, the supervisory authority, through the divisions uh, and thereby give ownership to more prosecutors, allow them the authority to mentor and train those under them. Now, when you're working side by side in the trenches, you got a good idea of what that person is doing. I want to have multiple division chiefs and then treat them with respect, allow them to do their job. Expect them to work hard and be satisfied when they do. Thank you. Ms. Newcomb. You have an excellent district attorney's office, and you have excellent, dedicated prosecutors working in that office who give of their time more, far more, than they get remunerated in salaries. They have wide authority to deal with their cases and their dockets. We have moved an extraordinary number of cases and have employed new and innovative processes in the district attorney's office in the last four years. We have, and probably in the next six months, we'll have the most experienced staff the district attorney's office has had in the history of this county. But they are there to protect everyone's rights. They are there to insist the cases that are given to them are good cases 
and that justice is delivered fairly. And they do that, y'all, every, every day. And back on the other situations, we have implemented many innovative ways to try to deal with the backlog and the almost 40% increase in criminal filings in this county. We have worked with the judges and law enforcement to develop a status docket. Cases that can be pled out early are pled out early. We have plea offers probably in about 80% of the cases out to defense attorneys by arraignment time which is the initial stage after a case is indicted. But bottom line, people, I believe, and my staff believes, some people need to go to jail. And people don't want to go to jail. And if they can put off going to jail for a year by putting off their plea, they're going to do that. But I commit to you and tell you, you have an excellent district attorney's office that has worked with law enforcement, judges, mental health providers, and activists in the community.